Hey, what's up, Precious Metal Peeps? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Got a big smile on my face, and uh, before I start with what I'm going to talk about for this little short show, I'm going to tell you why I'm smiling right now, because I just did the best 15-minute show ever in my life. Uh, what I thought was my best, uh, I want to say performance, but my best talk ever. I was smoothly running from page to page, and um, then I just realized I didn't hit the record button. <laughs> Uh, I hope you don't mind me sharing that with you, and uh, if you ever do this kind of thing, I suspect maybe you'll do it, and if you if you are doing this longer than I have been, I'm sure you get that as well. Uh, anyway, uh, never to be seen. Gosh, I feel terrible. I felt it was like my best performance in the world. It's like when you get that perfect wave when you're surfing and nobody sees it, or that perfect move maneuver or whatever it might be, the perfect shot, the perfect, the hole in one, and nobody's there to see it. Well, uh, I just had my hole in one and nobody saw it, so... I uh, don't want to get long-winded about that. Beautiful day out there. Hope you're enjoying your weekend, uh, as I am. Um, lovely day in Lauderdale by the Sea. So kind of let me move along with why I am here on the weekend to talk to you, uh, which I normally don't. Uh, I, I do with some uh, reports and educational things, but uh, not normally in a quick update like this. And uh, boy, my quick updates always turn into long updates. <laughs> I do apologize. But he, my quick update is all about some nonsense uh, that is spreading around right now about uh, the U.S. Mint. And uh, the number one lesson here, I think, and to nip this stuff in the bud really fast, uh, and also not to contribute to the spread of bad information, because even the best well-intentioned people that don't know what they're looking at could contribute to this, and that's kind of what's going on out there. I see on YouTube videos, I see on uh, 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 social media, I hear people talking about it, about this great reset. Why? Because the U.S. Mint's changing their prices on their products. They're going to raise the price of uh, 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 silver. And uh, this is half true, but it's bad information. It's complete uh, hutter bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But it is. It's just BS. Uh, because it really is. It's just uh, bad information, people spreading bad information. It's not true. The uh, U.S. Mint is not raising the prices of their bullion-type BU Silver Eagles. As far as I know, they're not raising the prices of them. They don't operate that program like this. Uh, my understanding, what they are doing is they're raising the prices on the collectible side of it. And let me show you that over here. Uh, U.S. Mint increases prices on 15 silver products. And what they are increasing their prices on are like their commemorative dollars that they make and their, uh, you know, their silver proof sets. Uh, because they kind of have a fixed value. I think like Proof Silver Eagles, what were they retail for the last few years, the last 20 years or whatever? They're like $35 or $37.50 or something like that. Well, the U.S. Mint is smart enough to figure out with these higher silver prices. And, you know, I kind of think they can foresee the future. They're saying, listen, for our collectible products, we cannot keep them at that range because we can't make money at that range. Uh, so they raise the price of their collectible products only. Nothing to do with the BU Gold Silver Eagles that... that most investors buy. This is not a financial reset by the U.S. Mint, nor a nor a structural silver and gold reset by the U.S. Mint. This only applies to their collectible division, nothing else. So the price of gold and silver eagles are not going to change and double uh, come Monday. Just not going to happen. So don't go out buying, in my opinion, those overpriced products anyway, because they are overpriced compared to other products. There's better products to buy, but besides the fact they are not raising the prices on them, uh, <clears throat> there's no need to go out and rush and buy gold and silver eagles right now. Uh, the only thing they are raising the prices are on the collectible ends of it, and they have to. And, you know, that's actually a good sign for us uh, people that buy and sell gold and silver, uh, especially uh, 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 bullion, you know, just on the bullion. And, you know, again, I'm all about buying the bullion. I stay away from the U.S. Mint's collectible stuff unless you like it and you want to collect it. As an investment, it's crap. It's crap. It's overpriced. The only time anyone makes money is when they, uh, when they uh, uh, buy it and they get it shipped immediately by the U.S. Mint and they're able to sell it quickly before other people get their stuff. For some reason, people are always willing to pay more uh, when it's not available right now, even though it'll be available three weeks from now. Uh, so that's how they make money in these products mostly. They're not rare. Uh, they seldom ever go up and stay up in value except for a few of the U.S. Mint products, modern products. So my recommendation is staying with the bullion. But uh, again, I was talking about uh, the confusion that's happening this week with these products. As I said, this has to do with the collectible ends. 
uh, the collectible part of it. And uh, let me take a look. I got a U.S. website over here. This is the uh, Federal Register, so it's the official uh, Daily Journal of the United States government. And this is where they've actually shown what their new prices are going to be. And if you take a look, here's the different products. Now, here's the confusion. I bet you some people looked and they said, look, they're going to raise the price of American Eagle one ounce uncirculated coins to $67. Well, yes and no. The yes is going to be only to the collectible side of it. Remember the, the, the ones that they have limited editions to. Uh, maybe a special mint mark BU with a W that comes in the little blue box that has a little, you know, the envelope in the U.S. Mint. This is official. The U.S. Mint sells two types of U.S. Silver Eagles. They sell a collectible product, which you see priced here in the new pricing structure, which used to probably be, what it, well, let's see, uh, what are proof Silver Eagles now? $73. And as I said, weren't they like $39 or $37? So, yeah, they have almost double the price, but again, only on the collectible end. And that's the confusion that some people might have gotten, even some dealers might have gotten. They said, well, look, they're raising the price on the uncirculated coin. Yes, only on the collector editions. Remember how the U.S. Mint operates with silver eagles and silver gold, uh, uh, silver eagles and gold eagles. Uh, there's two types of distributorships. On the collector editions, you, I, anybody can go to the U.S. Mint site and buy the collector versions of the silver eagle here. This looks like a proof right here. So you can go there and you can only buy the proof from the U.S. Mint. Uh, along with the collectible coins they sell, their commemoratives, their proof sets, and all that stuff. You buy those directly from the Mint using a credit card, and it's a retail sale, more or less. They sell directly to you. Uh, that is not how they do the regular BU Silver Eagles. You know, the green monster boxes that you see, and those green tubes, the white tubes, and the uh, gold eagles that people buy for, you know, like $100 over spot or whatever it is at the time, a little bit over spot. Those are sold completely different. You or I cannot buy those from the U.S. Mint. We cannot. We can only buy the collectible stuff I just showed you over here. Uh, we can only buy that stuff directly from the U.S. Mint. And it's going to be priced at a much higher price. You and I can, can only buy the U.S. Uh, uh, silver and gold eagles from other dealers, mostly. And that, you know, how that system works is the U.S. Mint makes the bullion eagles, which are the gold and silver eagles. They make the bullion versions. They sell them directly to major distributors, not to the public, to major distributors who are private outside resellers, uh, usually large, large entities because you have to have millions and millions of uh, verifiable assets and to even get on the U.S. Mint's list to get silver eagles and gold eagles. And you have, when they put them up for sale, you have to have the money right then paid in full. So, I mean, there's a lot of money that has to be put up to buy gold and silver eagles directly from the men. And those eagles that you and I sell, not the collector types, uh, but the ones that we sell back and forth to each other for bullion, you know, just for bullion purposes only, uh, these are pot purchased by guys like me. I'm a, I'm a dealer that buys from these major distributors. Uh, so, and then you, the public, or, you know, other people, other dealers, uh, would buy from me as well if I have the product from them. So it basically goes from the U.S. Mint. Now, this is for the BU silver eagles, not the collectibles. For the BU silver eagles, how the chain goes. It goes from the U.S. Mint to major distributors to coin dealers like myself and then to the public. Uh, and But there's also another chain of uh, uh, how this is fed too, which is when the public sells back to dealers like myself because they can't, they don't sell back to the Mint. The Mint doesn't buy them. They don't sell back to distributors because the distributors do not buy old Gold Eagles. They only buy new products. Uh, so there is a secondary market that goes along with dealers like myself and the public like yourself. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, the, the idea that the uh, price of gold and silver, and there's going to be a reset on Monday because the Mint Razor prices, is complete and utter bullshit. Sorry to say it, but it's true, folks. Um, I want to take a look at this, too. Uh, this was an interesting chart. It has really nothing to do with the BS we just kind of looked at. Uh, again, I showed you all the prices here, uh, but uh, oh, <laughs> there's the BS again. But uh, This chart right here caught my eye as I was looking for some other charts. And, you know, here's this is real telling. I've been talking about the U.S. dollar strength, and again, I kind of got off track. It has nothing to do with the with the uh, BS that we heard this week about silver eagles. And uh, again, please don't if you don't contribute the spread of bad information. If you haven't verified it absolutely for yourself, uh, don't go out there and put out information. You're just going to hurt other investors and people buying gold and silver. You know, find out for sure if it's true before you say anything, um, and that's really important. 
And in this particular case, anybody that spread this around that the U there's a reset and the U.S. Mint's raising their price of silver, blah, 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 is uh, full of crap. You know, the only thing that we did learn from this event is that the U.S. Mint honestly believes that we are not going to see lower silver prices and they will never sell product at 35 bucks an ounce again. It's over. It's done. The U.S. US Mint has capitulated. Think about that. They basically said, well, we, we can't make money at this uh, silver price. We believe this is going to be the future of silver, if not higher, and we've got to double our prices. Uh, that's a good tell, folks. And if you know what a tell is in a card game, it means that they're kind of winking their eye and saying, uh, yeah, it, the old days of $35, us selling our collectible stuff at $35 is over. The old days of you buying regular BU Silver Eagles at $12 and $15 is probably over as well. Uh, and that's what they just said. Uh, that would be the truth more than anything, and that's no BS. <laughs> Coming from me to you. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't tell you about the little graph here that I was talking about. U.S. silver coin sales. And again, I was digressing about this, but look, the financial collapse of 2008. Look what happened. Boom, 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 U.S. mint sales. You know, you get a little bit off time, you know, a little bit off in ounces there, but look at the overall trend of that right there. Um, that's very, very good. Uh, you know, and basically what's happened here is this is a, a sign of the U.S. dollar and decline of the U.S. dollar in 2008 when the Fed is, Federal Reserve is just going crazy. They're going crazy. So is our government deficit spending, uh, uh, the printing presses, completely ignoring the Bretton Woods agreement with the world. That's why the world wants to divest of U.S. dollars. And if you don't know what the Bretton Woods agreement is, go to my show a couple nights ago and and I'll explain it to you. And really, all I'm doing is telling you to learn it yourself and learn uh, uh, why the dollar is what it is as a fiat currency and why you're seeing this. I think it's called Gresham's Law or something. And forgive me if I'm wrong. I could have completely goofed that. But there's some law that says that good money will drive out bad money. Or is it to reverse? Uh, it's a little, I haven't had all the coffee yet this morning, by the way. Uh, but it's something like that. And that's kind of what we're seeing here is U.S. dollars being traded for silver. Uh, and we're seeing the same thing in gold if we went to a gold uh, U.S. mint sales as well. And this is just U.S. silver coin mint sales. Millions of ounces. Look at this, folks. Um, so that's very telling as well. And uh, let's take a look here. I think that is pretty much it. I could kind of just blabber on about some other things, but it's the weekend. Beautiful day. I think you should get out. I need to get out as well and uh, finish this cup of coffee. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you uh, hit the like button and hit that little bell that's up in the right-hand corner of your YouTube thing. And what you'll do is you'll get my daily updates and all the updates on precious metals. I'll promise I'll try not to bore you. And if you can, you can just shut me off. So <laughs> that's the beauty of YouTube. Just click, it's done. Okay. Or you can fast forward as well. Uh, again, the beauty of YouTube. But I hope I don't get too many fast forwards or cutoffs with you guys because I enjoy uh, uh, teaching you what I know and expanding my knowledge. And again, I'm blathering on. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar, Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. Call us anytime during our opening hours, which are Mondays through Fridays, uh, 10 to 4. And yes, we will be open tomorrow uh, at 954-493-8811. Ask us about gold and silver products, spot prices, uh, what the best prices are. And uh, if you want to learn some stuff, check out our other videos because I've got some educational videos as well. You'll be smarter by the time you get to us. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.